Chair, uh, first of all, I think that uh, we need to say that in the area of circular economy, uh, we have done a significant progress. And I don't want to be repetitive because a lot of that has been said here today in terms of what is the situation, the challenges, the objectives, and how to meet them, I think that uh, is something that I can subscribe to. But let me maybe just add one different point of view, and that is we have just adopted and just entered into force uh, the legislation on circular economy, uh, all directives that we have thoroughly negotiated. And I think that we need to have a look not just at the strategy, but also at the plastics uh, uh, proposal. How does it fit with the system? And I think that the issues, for example, like the collection targets for beverage bottles, I have no problem with being ambitious. But does it fit entirely? I mean, do we not dilute, in fact, the targets that we have? Eventually, you know, is there something that we need to do to prevent discrimination between products or additional requirements for extended uh, producers' liability? I mean, again, this is an important issue, but what about consumers? I do mean the whole complete chain. We can't uh, put the burden on the producers for misbehavior of the consumers. So there is a number of issues, and I'm finishing, Mr. Chair, that we need to look into, I think including awareness, and I'm sure that if we manage well and we really fit this piece into the system that we have established, then we can deliver results. Thank you.